I wake up to the sound of guns, guns blasting, exploding, a sound that fills the vast darkness of the early morning, a sound that pierces the sky just as it pierces many hearts. However the day may be, however I may want it to be, I have no control, I am just a child. I am not just a child. I am a youth of today, they tell me. I have the power to make a difference, to be the change, to be whatever I desire. The possibilities are endless. I wake up in a country of freedom with opportunity as far as the eye can see. Even though there is a war, a terrible war that has taken the lives of many, it is a war that I am thankful to not be a part of. Part of me is hurt when I hear of the numbers of child soldiers, of children at war, how close am I from being taken into that world? How safe is the world I live in? I feel safe in the world, but no others are not. Although our bubble of security shields us from harm, sometimes it also hides the other things going on. I walk like you walk, but my walk is different. You walk ten meters, but I walk ten kilometers just to get water. To get water that may not be even clean. And it's the only water we've got, though, so it might not be a lot. But when you've got so long to walk in the hot, the hope of something at the end of your journey is what keeps you going. Closely within reach, each of my needs are met. Clean water flows from a tap in my home with plenty of food, nourishment for strong bones. I never feel alone, but sometimes I wonder. I wonder what it's like in someone else's shoes. My life is a life that I love, and I love my life. But in my life there are things I would like, like for instance school. School is a place, a place where learning happens. But there is a war that won't end, it won't stop, its course is yet to turn the bend. And then I can go to the place I yearn to go, school. Ah, school. We have a love-hate relationship. At times we're compatible, hard at work, flying along, getting along. But when Monday morning rolls along, though we long for each other, we wish for another. I wish for another bowl of rice, a bowl that will fill me up and prevent me from being hungry ever again. My family has one dollar a day to survive. For us to love, for us to thrive, buying food is too expensive, so we grow, we trade, we do all we can, but usually everything we've got just isn't enough. In my head I often hear, it's not enough. I'm not good enough, I'm not trying hard enough, I'm not pretty enough, or maybe that essay I wrote for socials wasn't long enough. But I am wrong. I am me and that is enough. I also know that I have enough. Enough love, care and things required to survive, to survive while others suffer. While I suffer. While I suffer with the knowledge that companies like Apple have more money than my own country. They have created and developed a business and over time it has grown into something richer than the place where I live, where I call home. I often hear people say home is where the heart is, but in this community we call home, it's hard to find the heart, hard to find the love. When a friendly smile is ignored, or a simple hello, or good morning never said, or a random act of kindness not thought of, when it could have made the world of a difference. There isn't much difference in my day-to-day -day life. I go through the day without a strife, for what else can I do? School is a place where I belong, a place where I feel safe, have ideas, become inspired, have hope. I wake up early enough to walk to school through the rain, through the sun, through the mud and through the pain, because at the end of the day, for me, school is a huge gain. I gain so much from each one of my experiences, each person I meet, and each day that I am alive. Days that I am thankful for, for every part of them, every second. The clock ticks around in a circle, sometimes fast, sometimes slow. Maybe, Maybe some, some people, people don't, don't know what my life is really like. You can only live this life once. My older brother is dying. Slowly but truly, life is slipping away from him, and he is ever nearer to death's grasp. But the grasp comes to all of us, and it's something we have always understood. We know, have known, and will always know, that we don't live forever. We live to an age of 45 to 60. Those are our years. And we know that every year past is a step closer to the end. It is no different than a storybook, but we forget the child that once happily turned the pages, slowly taking it all in, each time as new as the last. We all have a beginning, we all have a middle, we all have an end. And we can't forget that a good middle is what makes a great book, 
Unfortunately, some don't have much of a say in how their story is written. Not everyone is treated as equals in our community. Not everyone has the same opportunity. For if you are born with a physical disorder, if you are born with club foot, you are excluded from the schools, excluded from the villages, excluded from communities. You are not wanted by your own people. If actions speak louder than words, then those are the most hurtful actions. We are all equal. There is always someone out there that cares, that cares about me, that cares about you, that cares about how we feel, and that cares about our life. There are those who don't, but we won't let them stop us from reaching our dreams. In my society, women aren't treated like the males. They don't have the same rights or can do the same things. Not that they do less things, though, because they do more, much more. The women are the workers, the cleaners, the cookers, the sweepers. They hold together the family, and without them, there wouldn't be a family. Women need to be more respected, more accepted in our society, because at the moment, we need to make that a reality. In reality, we are all different. We are all the same. I am as important as the person beside me, and beside them, they are important, given the same opportunities, no matter age, race, gender, or situation. The, the world, world is, is mine. mine. The, the world, world is, is yours. yours. The, the world, world is, is ours. ours.